Oh, good evening. Let's come before the Lord and bring him our prayer at the close of another day. The Lord Almighty grant us a quiet night and a perfect end. Amen. Our help is in the name of the Lord, who made heaven and earth. So a moment to think on the day, now drawing to its close. And so we pray. Most merciful God, we confess to you before the whole company of heaven and one another that we have sinned in thought, word and deed and in what we have failed to do. Forgive us our sins, heal us by your Spirit and raise us to new life in Christ. Amen. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. Alleluia. Before the ending of the day, Creator of the world, we pray that you, with steadfast love, would keep your watch around us while we sleep. From evil dreams defend our sight, from fears and terrors of the night. Tread underfoot our deadly foe that we no sinful thought may know. O Father, that we ask be done through Jesus Christ, your only Son. And Holy Spirit, by whose breath our souls are raised to life from death. Psalm 139 O Lord, you have searched me out and known me. You know my sitting down and my rising up. You discern my thoughts from afar. You mark out all my journeys with and my resting place, and acquainted with all my ways. For there is not a word on my tongue, but you, O Lord, know it altogether. You encompass me behind and before, and lay your hand upon me. Such knowledge is too wonderful for me, so high that I cannot attain it. Where can I go then from your spirit, or where can I flee from your presence? If I climb up to heaven, you are there. If I make the grave my bed, you are there also. If I take the wings of the morning and dwell in the uttermost parts of the sea, even there your hand shall lead me, your right hand hold me fast. If I say, surely the darkness will cover me and the light around me turn to night, even darkness is no darkness with you, the night is as clear as the day. Darkness and light to you are both alike. For you, yourself, created my inmost parts. You knit me together in my mother's womb. I thank you, for I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Marvellous are your works, my soul knows well. My frame was not hidden from you when I was made in secret and woven in the depths of the earth. Your eyes beheld my form as yet unfinished. Already in your book were all my members written, as day by day they were fashioned, when as yet there was none of them. How deep are your counsels to me, O God, how great is the sum of them! If I count them, they're more in number than the sand, and at the end I'm still in your presence. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. 1 Thessalonians 5 verses 9 and 10 God 
has destined us not for wrath, but for obtaining salvation through our Lord Jesus Christ, who died for us so that whether we're awake or asleep, we may live with him. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. For you have redeemed me, O Lord God of truth. I commend my spirit. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. Keep me as the apple of your eye. Hide me under the shadow of your wings. Save us, O Lord, while waking, and guard us while sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep may rest in peace. Now, Lord, you let your servant go in peace. Your word has been fulfilled. My eyes have seen the salvation which you have prepared in the sight of every people, a light to reveal you to the nations and the glory of your people Israel. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be for ever. Amen. Save us, O Lord, while waking, and guard us while sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep may rest in peace. So, Father, another day comes to a close, another day ended, another day before us. And, Father God, we gather all this day has been, and we give you thanks for it for the blessings, for the opportunities, for the joys. And as we do, we look for tomorrow. We think of all this day has given us and we prepare ourselves to once again do it. Maybe fail, maybe succeed. Maybe be blessed, maybe bless, and perhaps be challenged. Father God, we thank you for all that we have for our family and friends with whom we've engaged today. With our church family, perhaps. With colleagues, comrades, neighbours. Father God, you bless us with so many people, so many riches, and we bring each person now that we rejoice in, each person that we pray for, each person that we weep for, every person who prays and weeps for us perhaps, and we grab them one by one and we lay them before the cross, praising you for your provision, for your care, for your love, for your generosity. Father God, we pray for all we know and love and tonight we pray for Beryl Davis who hopefully will be home from hospital having had a fall. We pray for the friends and families who cause us to rejoice. We pray for the people who are on our hearts now and we, we bring them before you Father. We say as we pray, be God in their lives and ours. We pray that you, Father God, would make yourself known to them, that you, Lord, would bring your healing and health, that you would bring them close to you. Father, we thank you for all that you are to us, even when we are weak. Lord, fallible, broken, wrong. 
So we gather up our loved ones now. And as we do, we take this moment to think of them. Take this moment to treasure them. For our parents, here or gone, grandparents perhaps, those who taught us, brought us up, shared things, gave us skills and abilities and more beside. Father God, we bring to you all on our hearts this at this moment, this time. Father, we think of the things that this day has contained. We think of the joyful, glorious moments for Philip and I'd imagine Janet and probably Barbara and many more that we know, along with Ken making music, singing. Such a joyful act to make music is to be in step with the heartbeat of the Lord. Father, we thank you for the perfect nature of music. In fact, we thank you for that perfect time symbol, the signal of the Trinity that was the circle. And when we get to 4-4, four, four, we break the circle in perfect time. For Lord, in the Trinity is perfection. And as we think of the things we sing, as we think of the joy of singing with others, that tingle on the back of your neck, as you sing and another sings a different note and yet another and another and before you know it, harmony, that beautiful word, that being in time with the heartbeat of God that many people singing different notes that make up a whole that fills your heart to the brim. Father God, we thank you that you have made us in your image to sing, to share, to be one even though we be many. Father God, as we go to our beds, we thank you for the things that make us one with others for the things that make us one with you. And we bring before you the world and its brokenness and we pray for the healing of the nations. Lord God of all creation, we thank you for your gift of music. We thank you for all the things you give us, the ability to draw, to paint, to write, the ability to read, 
to hear the spoken word and be touched by poetry. And Lord, we thank you that you give us these gifts and we are but the custodians, the carer of these gifts. So this night, as we lay ourselves in bed, may we rejoice that you, Creator God, give us the ability to create also. Lord, we ask that you would guide us and you would bless us in the day before as we give you thanks for the day now ending. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Almighty God, send down upon your church the riches of your spirit and kindle in all who make music who bring your praise, who minister the gospel, who speak your words, your countless gifts of grace, through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. And as our Saviour has taught us, so we pray, our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name, your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and for ever. Amen. In peace we will lie down and sleep. For you alone, Lord, make us dwell in safety. Abide with us, Lord Jesus, for the night is at hand and the day is now past. As the night watch looks for the morning, so do we look for you, O Christ. The Lord bless us and watch over us. The Lord make his face shine upon us and be gracious to us. The Lord look kindly on us and give us peace. Amen. Well, thanks for being with us tonight, guys. Sleep well, stay safe. There's service at 10.30 at St Francis on Sunday being streamed and communion by extension on Thursday at St Francis at 9 o'clock. Catch you soon. Stay safe. Be blessed. Bye.